Hey guys and welcome to the first tutorial on Gempad. This will be showing you how to download MetaMask and how to get set up and how to add different networks to it. So you just go to metamask.io and you can see you have Chrome, iOS, Android. You just need to click install MetaMask and it'll bring you to this page. Now I'm using Chrome, but you can use different browsers. This is just how to do it on Chrome and it'll be added as an extension. Now I like to, as you can see, I like to pin my MetaMask just for ease of use. Once you click on it, it'll bring you to this page, you get started. Now if you have a previous wallet, you import your wallet there. But for this uh, tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to create a wallet from scratch. So you just click on the create a wallet button. And this is up to you whether or not you want to do it. You just create a password here, it can be whatever. This is just for this computer you're setting up on. So if you put it on a different computer, you'll have to use a different password or the same password there. And this is just about the secret recovery phrase, but we'll move on to that in a little second once we go to the next page. So here, this is where you can reveal the secret uh, recovery phrase. This is where you'll be able to import your wallet like at the start. So you'll use that to, if you lose your wallet, you can put it on a new computer or just in general, you're moving to your phone or anything. And once you do that, you're fully set up. You can see there's my new address up there and we're on the Ethereum network. Now we're gonna show you how to add different networks. So normally you'd have to input uh, kind of web addresses and stuff into the MetaMask, but this way you can actually just do it via Gempad. So once you connect to Gempad, it'll ask you first of all with just Ethereum, it'll ask you to add the BSC network. So you can do that with just a click of the button, just hit approve and then hit switch network. And that will add, see now you have both Ethereum and Binance Smart Chain. And then you we you can do it for different networks. So you'll have, you'll see, I'm gonna show you how to do it for the Kronos network as well. But they all work the same. And that's how you add different networks and how you also set up MetaMask. And thank you for listening to the tutorial and there'll be plenty more to come.